Welcome, kids. Today we're going to explore the wonderful world of religion. Yay! Finally! Religion is a form of faith and worship in a group. It acts as a belief system and code of conduct for people to follow. It's called Alicia's. That was blasphemous. God bless you. Without religion, we wouldn't have the wonderful cultural hierarchy in existence today. Because after all, only one God can be right. So which one is right? That's for you to decide, after our fun game of dress-up. Yay! Awesome! I got Judaism! It's like crazy hair day! Not so fast on the celebration, Herschel. Only 0.22% of all people believe in you. That's what my dad tells me at my soccer games. Wow! God is fashionable! <laughs> Shut up, Quan. You can think of the top religions as the popular kids in school. If you're a nerd, well, good luck. Success of religions depends mostly on the talent of their salesmen. By salesmen, do you mean weapon capacity and bloodthirst? <laughs> of course. But everything is fine if it's in the name of God. Sometimes I think God drinks my tears and pees them back on my life. Hey, crybaby, you're gonna end up like him? Then shut up or you face. Most faiths have some form of heaven for the good people and hell for the bad. This provides an or else incentive that everybody can enjoy. Stop the Mushuganas from slapping their shrans and the shiksas. It didn't stop my uncle from taking my innocence. This freaking broad. Access to heaven is easy. Simply follow God's plan and you'll be enjoying a special surprise suitable to your own faith. Zainab here has 72 virgins awaiting her arrival. What am I gonna do with 72 virgins? <laughs> Scissor! Despite their fundamental differences, most religions actually have similar viewpoints on certain topics. No-nos like pleasures of the flesh and homosexuality. Yo, teach. Am I a homosexual? <laughs> no, Giuseppe. Homosexuality is a choice. Like how Larry King chose to resign from Senate? <laughs> exactly, Zainab. So keep an eye out for those who may be on the fence. Religious rituals go far back to when gods were just plain silly by today's standards. So we rest our faith in messiahs with more normal talents, like turning water to wine and persuading their friends to eat their bodies. The sweet salvation of cannibalism. Wait, I'm confused. I bet you are there, twinkle toes. Maybe religion is only a temporary answer to modern ambiguities, and we simply don't have the technology available to answer bigger questions for ourselves. Maybe you're just ignorant. Sounds like homosexual talk to me. Okay, that's it. It was Muhammad what they wanted. Don't you mean Abraham? Listen, Stugats. It's Jesus we're talking here. Muhammad! Abraham! Jesus, bada bing! Now, now, kids. No need to argue. Why don't you settle this the popular way? Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker!